I know how common it can be to go get your thyroid blood markers checked and the doctor tells you everything looks normal and yet you're still sitting there with symptoms. So I want to go over with you why the lab reference ranges are a little bit different and what those numbers could look like. And then um, you can always go to the link below and grab my link that is for my free guide. It's called The Secret to Reading Your Thyroid Blood Test. So it goes over the lab reference ranges. It's a printout that you can print off yourself um, and then the markers to have checked and why you're getting them checked as well. So um, it's a super simple guide, kind of laid out pretty easy, easy for you. Um, so again, go to the link below and you can grab that as well. So I want to go over with you what um, these markers look like. Um, I know it's very, very confusing, particularly because, again, like I said in the beginning of this, you're told all the time everything looks normal when you might still have symptoms present. So I want to go over with you what those markers look like. So the first marker is TSH. This is probably the most common marker that they're going to check. That is the hallmark one that they'll look at to tell you whether or not you have hypothyroidism. You might have hyperthyroidism where it's fast. So TSH, um, I like it personally to be anywhere from 0.5 to 2. To me, that's the most optimal, optimal reference range where you're going to feel the best. But the typical lab reference range is anywhere from 0.45 to 5. So anything to me above a 2 is not optimal. You're not going to feel very good. But you're going to fall into that normal, so-called normal reference range. If you're at a 4 or 5, the doctor's going to say your thyroid looks fantastic, when in reality it probably is not. Free T3 is the same way. The reference range for that is anywhere from 2 to 3. They'll say, you know, that's your active thyroid hormone, by the way. So they'll say, yeah, yeah everything looks normal when it's at a 2. When um, I personally, um, from the research I've done and my experience when working with clients and myself, um, 3.4 to 3.9 is the range you want for that free T3. Again, if you're at a 2, they're going to say you're normal. And that is active thyroid hormone. So you're going to have quite a few thyroid symptoms. Typically, if we have that uh, free T3, if that is, you know, below three, you're going to have um, thyroid symptoms usually. And free T4, this is another one that um, kind of falls with a, a different type of reference range as well. So 0.8 to 1.7 is the reference range they usually give for free T4. I like it from 0.9 to 1.2. When it gets up a little too high, um, that can actually be showing you that you're not converting enough T4 over to T3. You don't make very much T3. So you have to convert quite a bit over um, from T4 to T3. So we want that free T3, free T4 to be kind of in that sweet spot. So 0.9 to 1.2 is a range I like for that. Um, reverse T3. So this is a marker that you can have assessed and you can kind of see then, am I having a conversion issue from T4 to T3? We will see reverse T3 go up because what happens is you don't do a good conversion and you revert it backwards. So it's called reverse T3. So reverse T3, the reference range, the um, typical reference range from labs is 9 to 24. That is a massive range. If it's, to me, it needs to be below 12. When it is above 12, you are going to have thyroid symptoms. That means you're having a conversion issue. But again, if you're like 19, 20, maybe 22, something like that, they're going to say your reverse T3 looks great. You don't have a conversion issue. And you always want to compare it to your T3 as well, that free T3 number. And then your antibodies is another marker that I would be very, very, um, you, you definitely want to have these checked. So um, thyroid antibodies, there's two different ones. There's thyroid globulin. It'll usually be abbreviated TGAB and thyroid peroxidase will be abbreviated TPO. So ideally, I don't like to see any thyroid antibodies at all. So thyroid globulin, they'll usually say as long as it's under, um, typically under nine, um, you're fine. That, I kind of play that by ear. If, it, if I look at TPO and it's elevated, then I definitely would say, yeah, both antibodies are elevated. TPO, the typical lab reference range is 0 to 34. Anything above, when I say anything above a 1 for something like that, again, I think that you, you have thyroid antibodies. So me personally, the closer to 0, the better. But a reference range of 0 to 34, they could say, yeah, your, your thyroid's fine. You're, you don't have an autoimmune response. You might be at 33 and you're going to fall normal. That is way high. To me, that means you have antibodies present. So I would be very careful with that. Total T3 and total T4, those are markers you can have checked. So what total T3 and total T4 are is it's the stored form of T3 and T4 as well as the um, free form of it. I personally want to see the free. That's what's available for usage. The storage form, I don't really want to know. But a lot of times um, 
doctors may check that for you. So the reference ranges for that are if total T total T3. The typical reference range is 71 to 180. I like it from 150 to 180. Again, if you're at a 78, 79, you're, you're even at 100, they'll say you have enough total T3, it's fine. When in reality, it's not. You need that to be 150 to 180. And total T4, um, their lab typical lab reference range, again, is 4.6 to 11.2. I like it from six to 12. When you're going below six, again, you're gonna have thyroid symptoms typically. So. I hope this helped you. I know this is a lot of information. Um, it's a lot of numbers to try to write down and remember. Um, that's why go ahead and grab the link below. Like I mentioned, grab the free guide below. You can go ahead and check out um, what the reference ranges should look like, the optimal ones, um, that, like I mentioned already, and then what markers to have checked. And then I kind of go over it a little bit as well, um, why you want those checked even, because you can see how you can have thyroid symptoms still, even if the doctor's telling you, everything looks fantastic because those reference ranges are so big. So you're being compared to a very broad reference range versus something that's more honed in on you and what's optimal for like your age, um, your demographic, things like that. So again, reach out, ask me questions below if anything else comes up and then go down below and grab that link so you can get my free guide as well. I will see you on the next video. Bye.